Okay, we've talked a lot about improving leadership. Let's do a quick debrief. The third key point is for you to do a debrief or a post-mortem after each successfully completed project. Debriefing is the most powerful learning tool to recap everything that you've learned. Debriefing is done by evaluating a recent project. Key areas to look into are reflections of what has been done, insights with the aim of that project towards the future, linking the challenge with the actions and how similar projects can be done more effectively in the future. Debriefs are important after your projects to identify gaps and insights as preparation for future projects. So in this stage, it's essential that your project team prepare a list of gaps during the project. There are two ways that you can go about this. The first is to identify the current gap that the project team detected and how to close that gap in the future. The second is to identify potential gaps in the future. An example is if you hear that your competitor is introducing a faster product sometime in the future, you might conclude that this could be significant to your business. Next part is to arrange a meeting session with your team. Now this is critical because your project team may have things that they might want to point out, which are actually critical, but not noticed during the project. Imagine skipping out on such a debriefing session and starting right away on the next project. Not only would it cause the same mistake to be made over and over again without anyone realizing, but your project team may be demoralized and further risking the projects in the future because of low morale. Therefore, it's your core role in these meetings to be a facilitator and to lead by conducting the session without bias, regardless of any employee's rank and regardless of what they say. The following questions are designed to facilitate insights from your team. What happened? What should have happened instead? What did we learn? How can we improve? What are the action plans for this session? At the end of the session, you'd have an action plan that the team can execute to improve on any aspects where there's a gap.